What's going on guys? Alan here with Parrot & Co. And today our travels are taking us to Idlewild, California in the kind of mountain-ish area, uh, not too far from San Diego. And we are staying in this pretty sweet little tiny home we just got here. Pretty awesome. And we brought the whole squad. Elfie came along for the road trip. Say hi, Elfie. He's like, where did you bring me now, human? Where are we at now? But we made it, it looks pretty awesome. Thanks Elf for all the planning. Uh, so let's take a little quick tour of the tiny home. So, little living room, Elfie. Kitchen, refrigerator, L. And little tiny stairs. Ooh, and little mini bedroom. And that's basically it. Uh, we came out here for a quick getaway just to basically, um, you know, get out into nature, hang out, take Alfie out, new experiences, new sights, new sounds. Let's see what the rest of the weekend has in store for us. Oh, Alfie, hi. You like the little tiny house? Not impressed? A little bit of both? Elfie, you made it to your tiny home, buddy. What you doing? Checking out the new spot? You're not sure, huh? You're like, hmm? This isn't my, this isn't my cage. This isn't my house. All right, guys, so the plan this weekend is today we're probably just gonna be hanging out in the tiny home. Tomorrow, we're definitely gonna go for a hike and have a picnic. We got some chop for Elfie, some veggies, just a little bit. Um, we're also going to give Elfie some of his favorite treats after we're finished with our hike tomorrow, which is gonna be fruit. Elfie, I would say he kind of rarely gets fruit just because it's so high in sugar. Um, I feel like if Elfie was more of a free flighted parrot, who's burning that energy all the time, then I would probably, you know, give him more fruit as treats. But tomorrow he's gonna get some fruit because he was a good bird the whole ride. He didn't make any noise. Oh, did he? He didn't even make any noise, huh, Elf? He sneezed. Oh yeah, he just sneezed, so cute. He just sneezed, he's been a good bird. So I'm gonna hook him up with some fruit tomorrow. We got some apple, oranges, uh, a couple other things. It's gonna be awesome and we'll keep you guys posted for that hike tomorrow. It should be fun. All right, Elf. What are we making today? Or what are you making? I'm doing my Easter present. Little. My mother gave me. <laughs> and I thought it was adorable because Paul knows how much we like the ocean. So check it out. Yes. It's just a 300 piece. I'm not one of those crazy puzzle people who want to do a thousand piece. So <laughs> this is good enough for me just to be satisfied and nice. finish a puzzle. Are you going to help us make a puzzle, buddy? You going to help us? We'll see. Elfie, you gonna help with the puzzle, buddy? Wow, what's that, buddy? Is that a puzzle? He's like, ooh, food? <gasps> so cute. Let me see. Oh, Elfie. made it to our hike. Elfie is here with us. We're going out into the wilderness. Should be a pretty fun hike. Let's see how it goes. So we made it to another hike. We went to a hike earlier, but you needed a bunch of permits. So we decided to just play it safe and come here. So uh, interestingly yesterday, uh, Elle and I were walking, or we're staying at here in the, the, the wilderness, so to speak, and I remember walking by this house, it was like 10 o'clock, and I was like, Elle, is that, is that a parrot cage? And you know me, I get excited, no matter what kind of parrot it is, so I was kind of geeking out, there was a parrot, and I was like, oh, that's awesome. And then I was like, ooh, the cage's got lots of, the cage's got lots of toys inside. I was like, that's pretty sweet. And then I remember looking inside and I was like, is that, is there a parrot in there? And then I saw the silhouette basically of like an African gray. And I was like, wait, it's like 10 o'clock. And I remember looking inside in the light, there was a, 
inside there was basically bright white light in the kitchen and this cage wasn't even covered and I remember thinking poor bird it's getting horrible sleep right now I'm sure it's gonna wake up because there's no covers on the windows as soon as the sun comes up at 6 and it's still up at 10 if your parrot doesn't get 12 hours of sleep it's gonna be a cranky bird and it's also gonna mess with them psychologically right it's like if you got five hours of sleep every single day as a human imagine trying to function that's the equivalent of giving a bird eight hours of sleep less than 12 hours of sleep and that'd be the equivalent of like eight hours of sleep right human hours so to speak but with that being said make sure you at least cover your parrot if you can't put them in a different quiet room Elfie, you made it to the top, buddy. Woohoo! Nature! And Elfie. Elfie. Alright, we finished our hike. You did so well, Elfie. Time to have a little picnic, a little lunch. What have we got packed for Elfie, El? Yo, come check it out. What do we got here? Yo. Ooh. We got some um, blood orange. We have strawberry, apple, green bell pepper, cucumber. We brought a... Ooh, Elfie buffet. For all of us. Elfie, you want a treat, buddy? You want a treat, Elfie? Here it is. You do. What you got for Elfie? Oh, you got an apple, buddy? Wow! You got an apple, Elfie. Nom, 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 nom. So this is one of the few times Elfie gets some fruit. He's balancing a lot, using a lot of calories. He's been a good bird, it's a picnic type of day. So he's getting some fruit, some veg, and uh, we're gonna have a little picnic. Good bird, buddy. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, we got some strawberry for you, Elfie. Can you wave? Good bird, I oh, thought better. Mm, mm, mm. Got some strawberries. Elfie doesn't like strawberries, I think. Elfie, you got a strawberry beard, buddy? Yeah. 